Welcome to Oracle new feature video series. In this video, we'll see another important new feature called creating multiple indexes on the same set of column. First, we'll see what is this feature is all about. Then we'll see a small demo of creating multiple indexes. Then I will show you why we need to create multiple indexes because already we are creating some set of index on either one column or a set of column. Then what is the need to create multiple index and what are the rules behind that? To start with, We'll just start with the Oracle documentation page, which clearly says that from 12.1, we can create multiple indexes on same set of column. But there are two very important points to be noted here. One is that the index has to be different in some way. Though we can create two indexes on same column or more than one index on the same column, the index has to be different in some way. So what I mean here is that you can create one B3 index and you can create another index. Either it can be a reverse key index or a bitmap index or any other type of index. But you cannot create exactly the same type of index on same column or same set of column. So that is the first point. The next point is at any point of time, there should be only one index visible. So you cannot have more than one index on same set of column visible. So these are the two very important points to be noted whenever you are trying to create more than one index on the same column or the same set of column. Of course, we need a we need to have a privilege to create this. That is what this point says about. But apart from that, these are the two main things to be noted. One is the index has to be different in some way. The second point is the at any point of time, only one index has to be visible. So you can create the, uh, another set of indexes as invisible. Maybe you can ask a question, why I need to create two different set of indexes? Probably that we'll see a bit later. First, we'll see a simple demo. Then I will show you why we need to create more than one index. So here I have a table called EMP underscore tape, which is nothing but exactly the employee table. So first, let me create an index on ename. Okay, so I'm just creating an index, create index I1 on employee table on ename column. So I'm just executing. The first index is created successfully. Let me try to create the second index. Of course, I'm not creating the B2 index here. Here I'm trying to create a reverse key index. So let me just create this. So when you try to create this reverse key index, obviously Oracle is saying that such column is already indexed. As I already mentioned, you cannot have two visible indexes. So let us make this second index as invisible. So now I'm making it as invisible. Now let me try to create this reverse key index in invisible mode. As you can see here, the index is created. So this is the new feature all about, okay? So here we are actually created more than one, but at any given point of time, as I told, only one index has to be in a visible mode. So that's why the second index we have created in the invisible mode. Okay, now you obviously you will be asking like, what is the point of creating another index when the existing index would serve the performance uh, issue, right? Now. The answer is already there in the Oracle documentation. Let me just take you through the Oracle documentation now. So here is the Oracle documentation says, okay, the first point is uh, when you want to uh, test on a performance problem, you can try with two or more different types of index. So normally what we will do, first we'll create an index, then we'll uh, check the explain plan to see whether the index is already using or not. Then probably we'll be dropping the existing index, then we'll be creating another type of index. Now you don't have to do like this. You probably can create two set of index. You can make one as invisible, another as visible. Check your uh, performance uh, uh, issues or you can check the explain plan, all these things. Do your analysis. Then you can make the first uh, index as a invisible. Then you can make the second index as a visible. So this allow us to do the performance comparison side by side. That is the first advantage. And of course it's for a short term. But one key point to be noted here, whenever you have more than one index, obviously, even though it is an invisible index, it is still maintained by the Oracle. So any DML operation we are performing on the table will, will, be, will affect both. That means internally Oracle will maintain both the index. So keep it in mind that this is not recommended for the production environment. However, in dev environment, to check the performance issue of various indexes, we can use this option. The second advantage is, as clearly mentioned in this documentation, you can see here, the B3 indexes sometimes will be very helpful in OLTP processing. Typically in a data warehousing system, we'll be using like a bitmap index. You can see the second line. It will be using a bitmap. So you can have two set of indexes. Whenever you are doing a OLTP uh, type of uh, transactions, 
then you can enable the first dynamically you can enable probably you can write an api which can dynamically enable this or make the first index as visible so whenever you are querying for a reporting purpose you can make the first index invisible and you can make the second index visible thereby you will be serving both oltp as well as a data warehousing or a reporting kind of applications in case if you learn something new please like this video and subscribe and stay tuned for a new feature videos interview questions concept videos tips and tricks thanks again for watching this video